Hi, do you think that successful traders and portfolio managers are just lucky? Do you believe that a portfolio of stocks selected by a blindfolded monkey is optimal? Well, I don't. And I hope that by doing this course, you will find out how portfolio analysis in R can add value to your portfolio management. My name is Chris Bout. I am a professor of finance at the Free University of Brussels and Amsterdam. I have more than a decade of experience in solving investment problems using the R language. Besides my teaching and research, I also advise investment companies about best practices in portfolio management. The advisory is about balancing risk and reward in their investments. My baseline recommendation is to take investment decisions seriously and to be aware of the risks involved in investing. Whenever you buy a stock or bond at some price, this price will change in the future. If it increases, you make a profit. If it decreases, you make a loss. It's the expectation of gains that needs to be balanced against the risk of losses. There are two simple tricks to reduce the risk of suffering large losses. The first one is to seek portfolio risk diversification. This means that one should avoid investing in one single asset, but instead invest in many different assets. Such a combination of investments is called a portfolio. When I review portfolios, I often find that by choosing more intelligent combinations of investments, it becomes possible to increase the portfolio's expected return and reduce the risk. The second golden rule in investing is to always test the portfolio strategy on historical data. And once you're trading the strategy, to constantly monitor its performance. For this reason, DataCamp is one of the best ways to learn portfolio analysis. I will teach you the theory in the videos and provide you the R instructions to do the portfolio analysis in practice. The course proceeds in four chapters. In chapter one, I will introduce the basic variables in portfolio analysis, namely the portfolio weights and the portfolio returns. The portfolio weights tell you the percentage of total value invested in each of the assets. The portfolio returns measure the relative increase in portfolio value over the period. I will show you how the portfolio weights and returns are connected and how to do the calculation. In chapter two, you will learn how to use measures of reward and risk to evaluate the portfolio performance. We will be using average returns, volatility, sharp ratio, and even downside risk measures, such as the portfolio value at risk and expected shortfall. Chapter three is about drivers of portfolio performance. I will show you how the individual risk and rewards of a different investment in the portfolio interact with each other to determine the total portfolio return and risk. Finally, in chapter four, I will show you how, the, how to optimize the portfolio weights in such a way that the obtained portfolio cannot be beaten by any other portfolio in terms of offering a higher expected return for the same or lower level of risk. Altogether, these four chapters teach you to analyze portfolio returns in R, which is a crucial skill to make investment profits without taking excessive risks.